Hey Aries, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of October general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Tell Me by Groove Theory. Now, in that group, you have a Pisces and a Libra. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. Also, we are currently in Libra season. So this situation, which I feel is going to be the case, can take place during Libra season. Now, the message that I got was this has been brewing for a long time. Now it's finally coming out. With the song Tell Me, that's exactly the energy that I'm getting. Like somebody wants to know if they can just come straight out and be honest with you and tell you how they feel. Or you may be feeling like this. I always flip it and put it how it applies in your situation. Even if you are completely single, I feel like there's somebody who is digging you. And I, it's not new. I feel like this person has been digging you for a while. This could be a friend. Okay, this could be an associate, co-worker, it could be anybody. I feel like this person has really been digging you for a while, but they don't know if they can approach you. They don't know if, you know, you'll be open to whatever it is they have to say. I feel just an energy of nervousness. Like this person is nervous to just tell you how they feel. Again, you can feel like this also. And the name of the group, Groove Theory, like this person is like really feeling you. I'm just thinking about the groove. Like they're trying to get in the groove to, to come approach you about something is what I'm getting. And as far as theory, again, the name of the group is Groove Theory. The theory part of it is making me feel like they have theorized in their head how they, they've played like multiple scenarios about how something is going to turn out, about how you're going to respond or you may have been doing this. And I feel like in both instances, they could be wrong or you could be wrong. Like this person may be a little more open to it than you think. Now, if this is a work, situation like this is a coworker. somebody is like scared of even attempting or approaching something because they're like okay if this goes to the shits then i still have to look at this person every day when we work together or they just don't want this workplace romance because they don't want gossip and messiness is what i'm getting okay so let's see what we get for you guys today um aries summer rising and venus individuals we're gonna go through the deck until we get your major arcana which is the emperor We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and we'll get clarifiers for both. Okay. So we had a card flip out already. The Four of Swords, pull back, retreat, go within. I'm um, taking a break. Some of you all may, this person may have heard you because Swords communication and mental. This person may have heard you say, like, you're not interested in dating. You're not, you know, even thinking about relationships. Or somebody may have known that you just recently got out of a relationship and you're taking a bit of a break. Or again, this could be vice versa. You could have heard this or, you know, have some type of knowledge about this. We're just going to tuck this in a deck randomly. So somebody is taking a break. And that's possibly why this theory in this person's mind has come up like, okay, there's no need to approach this person because they just got out of something. They wouldn't be open to it. Something to that nature, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm going to say again, for some of you guys, this could be a coworker, okay? This could be something involving the workplace. And someone's like, I don't want romantic stuff to interfere with my work life. I don't even want to mix those two things, Okay. So let's go ahead and do some shuffles. Yeah. Somebody's listening to their intuition now. They're following their gut feeling. You and this person had a first, middle, or last initial of J-B-M-O-W-P-R-R-S. And as I did mention, one of the members in the group, Emile LaRue, she happens to be a Pisces, and you do have Pisces right here. So someone definitely has strong Pisces placements. Wow. Right at the bottom of the deck, you got the judgment card, reconciliation, bringing a situation back to life, and also making a judgment call about something. I feel like this person can't hold it back anymore, okay? Because in the song, she says, now you got to tell me how you feel. In other words, like, just come out with it. Just say it already. Again, someone's first, middle, or last initial could be C, G, M, W, O, J. You also have N or T, first, middle, last initial. I heard Thomas very clearly. Oh, yeah, this person's thinking about you. Okay, so I'm going to stop right here because this person, this is exactly what I'm getting. Like, this person wants to know if it's going to be mutual. You see how that rainbow is going into both cups? They want to know if the feeling is mutual or they're scared that the feeling may not be mutual. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into it now. Yep, somebody just went through a heartbreak. Somebody just went through a heartbreak. Mm-hmm. Be it you or this person. So, again, we want the hair font, the card that comes before, and the card that comes after. And then we will get those clarifiers for both of those cards. Yeah, somebody just went through a harbor. Oh, yeah, look at this. So, you have your major icon of the emperor. Right in front of it, you have the ace of pentacles. 
And then right behind it, you got the Ten of Swords stabbed in the back, let down to betray. Yeah, somebody just went through a heartbreak. Be it you or this person, okay? So I feel like this person is trying to balance their emotions. Remember, we just had this, right? This is so interesting. You got the Two of Cups. There's a rainbow going into those cups. You got the Two of Pentacles, rainbow. So somebody may have been single for two weeks to two months, okay? Um, also, somebody's birthday could be in February. They could be a February Pisces because you did have the High Priestess. That's Piscean energy. You have the Ten of Swords, and we are officially in the 10th month. So somebody may find out that someone definitely... They lost something that at one point had stability associated with it. Pentacles is always talking about stability here. They may have recently left someone who is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn individual. They may have ended something that happened. This this ending could have happened for them in Virgo season, as you do have the Ace of Pentacles. Aces are always a gift from the universe, a brand new star, something major. So this was a major loss for this person or you. I feel like their money was affected by it also. Bottom of the deck, you got the Six of Wands, success, attainment, achievement, and victory. But see, there's something moving forward. I feel like you, okay, because you are Wands. It could be like you see that you could have a lot with this person. There's something about this person that you dig. Or they see like they feel like this about you. But there's some healing that needs to happen first here. That's part of the deck. Look, again, second time we got the judgment card. We had it in this deck, remember? Could be involving a Scorpio, or this could be something in Scorpio season. You do got Ten of Swords here. And even though swords is air element, you do have 10. 10 is October. Scorpio season does start in October. So I feel like somebody's just taking a break from the dating scene. But around Scorpio season, they may have a change of heart. Like they may be more open to relationships and dating. Just right now, they, they're going through quite a bit. Definitely something with their home life. The Pentacles makes me think about the home life. Definitely something with their home life has been in shambles or they see it as being in shambles. Let's get a clarifier for that Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, something with the work life, okay? Definitely something with the work life. Um, I feel like with the work life, you know how people have a work husband and the work wife? It could have been something like that. Like someone's partner found out about it or they was intimidated by someone's relationship with a coworker. And again, this won't be for everyone, but I am getting that very strong. Bottom of the deck, another two. Oh my God. Okay, so if you guys can read my little messy... Um, <laughs> Dr. Handwriting, I had right here for you guys two, two, two. You just had two of Pentacles, two of Cups, and now you have the two of Wands. So you guys may be seeing angel number two, two, two a lot. When you see that number, look up the meaning. So look up Google angel number two, two, two. Read the message because there's definitely a message in there for you. Also, when you see that two, 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 pay attention to what you're doing, where you're at, what you're thinking, because your spirit guides are trying to get your attention and trying to draw your attention to something specific, okay? So let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Pentacles. Woo, that flew out. I'm going to slide it how I flipped out, okay? You got the devil in reverse, okay? Capricorn energy. So I'm going to say again, in reverse, I just want you guys to see this, okay? You literally have these people on chains. And then there's a contract right here in his hand, but it has flames on it. So some current contract with someone is, has wrapped up. For some of you all, they definitely were dealing with a, a earth sign. Either they or you were, okay? Um... This, either could have, this also could have been Capricorn season, because keep in mind, Capricorn season is December, January time frame. Now, even though we're in October, this could have been January of this year that they ended something and they're still going through the motions of it, right? Wow, that's interesting, because you got the Ten of Swords. So this person literally could have been single for 10 months and they're just not getting over it. Because if you think about it, we're in October now, January, you know, it's not a full 10 months, but it's coming, approaching 10 months. So this person may have been separated from someone for going on 10 months but they're they're just they're still going through it because they've been with this person for a long time they also may have been with this person for 10 years again either this person had something with an earth sign towards very well capricorn um or something ending in capricorn season because this is a breakup because up right they're chained together in reverse this is a breakup a separation bottom of the deck major arcana the magician Someone's ready to manifest a new start. I was getting that with this also. So they may have been on a break from love and relationships for a while. They were quite jaded and scorned. But now they're ready to manifest a new outcome. And I also feel like something about you makes this person feel open to moving forward. Or something about this person makes you feel open to moving forward in love again. Trusting love again. You have the major arcana, uh, the magician, which is associated with Gemini and Virgo. And I did say even with this, somebody may have ended something in Virgo season or with a Virgo. Something with strong earth sign placements here. Let's get a clarifier for the Ten of Swords. Clarify for the Ten of Swords for Aries, Summer, Rising, Venus, individuals, okay? 
you have the strength card in reverse, the opposite of strength is weakness, and that's exactly what this is. This person was having a, a long, a very hard time regaining their footing in the world, you know, because of something that they went through in association with a broken family situation. You got the Ten of Pentacles, a family situation in reverse. Okay, so this person or you, somebody in this situation, it's, it's been taking them a long time to heal because you got two tens here. Tens talk about endings. So someone has not wrapped up this, this cycle of heartbreak. They're still going through something. They don't feel their strongest. They don't feel like they're ready for a commitment or long-term union. But I feel like that's getting ready to shift. You know, because it's, it's like this person realizes it's done. It's over. So it's like... Something is getting ready to shift. I just feel like it may have been or is very hard for this person because there's a child or children involved. Okay? This person also can have an earth sign child, a Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn child. But when you get that Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Devil in reverse, yeah, this is either a divorce from someone or someone that they were with for a very long time and definitely has an attachment to because there's chains here. If there's a child or children involved, there's strong attachments. And that's what's taking this person so long to move on because they still have to deal with this person, especially if there's a child or children involved. Regardless of if they want to be involved with this person or not, they still have attachments to this person one way or another, or you have it. Whatever the case, that's what's taking this person so long to move on because it just feels like the heartbreak just keeps recycling over and over and over again every time they have to exchange anything associated with the children or, you know, something in regards to domestic stuff like property and assets, whatever. That's what's taking this person a long time. But again, with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like there's going to be a new start. Like this person or you, somebody is ready for a new start. They're ready to manifest something new. Yeah. Somebody's still been holding on to some grief for a long time. You see how he's right by his heart? From top to the bottom, holding on for their life. Somebody's still been holding on to grief. There's a lot of earthy energy here. You got Virgo here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You got a lot of earthy energy here. So someone has very strong earth placements in their chart. And also, there's a strong attachment to the earthly um, lifestyle they once had in the situation. And that's what's made them feel like not strong enough to move on. But I, I do feel like there's a change on the horizon. I do. And see, that goes back to what I was saying, somebody's theory, like the, the group, groove theory, this is their theory. They feel like this is their or your theory. Like this person isn't ready for a relationship or, or interested in dating because they're still going through a ten of swords in their life because it's upright, you know. So this person is still kind of down. Literally, he's down. This person is still kind of down and out about that situation. So that could be what was holding someone back from, you know, reaching out but i'm gonna say again even with the song tell me it's like still put it out there into the universe if it's you who feels like this still put it out there into the universe because you never know once this person like gets the strength and musters up the strength to just kind of become stable and see things a little differently they may actually accept your advances or they may actually feel as though it's safe to approach you because i feel like this person has been digging you for a while because see you had a family structure here, but he's watching from behind the scenes. So that's why I said somebody's always had eyes for you or you've always had eyes for someone. This person is already in your energy. And again, I'm going to say they could possibly work where you work or they know where you work. They visit your job frequently. Like if you have a job where the public comes in and out, they frequent your job often. I feel like they do it just to see you. Not in a creepy stalker way, but they do it just to see you or to be around you is what I'm getting here. Okay. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click the notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.